So the IK handles are the next part and um, to make that you need to go to animation. Um, and skeleton. In the skeleton you will find the IK handle tool. Um, IK stands for inverse kinematics. This means that um, you move a leg and uh, you start from the end of the leg to move it. In forward kinematic you uh, start by the first joint and rotate that and then the next joint. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, I went to the option box because uh, we want to make sure that we make an IKSC solver. So you just make sure that it says this on your um, on your display. And then you're gonna select the first joint right here under the hip. And after that you're gonna go to the angle and press. So this makes our IK handle. And if you move it, you can see it moves up. This is great. That's what we want. So the next thing we're gonna make is uh, some more IK handles. And uh, it might not make sense, but first I'm going to go to Skeleton, I can handle tool option box, and you're going to select RP solver this time. You're going to go down to the foot, and you're going to select the first joint in the foot, and the second joint, and this makes another IK. Right now you might be thinking this is weird, but uh, I'm going to show you later on why we're going to do this. So just bear with me, and we're gonna go to skeleton again. I can handle option box, and we're gonna make from the the toe, the, the middle of the foot to the end of the foot. So now we got a lot of I can handles on the foot. Um, yeah, and that's basically it now. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to the side gonna go down to the foot and I'm gonna skeleton or oh actually we got this joint tool over of self so I'm just gonna select that and I'm gonna make a joint um actually I'm not gonna make a joint I'm gonna hold X uh, no we're just gonna make a joint right here and then we're gonna go all the way to the tip and then while staying down below we're gonna go to the middle of the toe um, and then the last joint we're gonna make is gonna be up here I'm just doing this at eye measuring right now so we got three joints um, we made these because we want to control our foot um, in a natural way and make all the w make it uh, natural to move it in <laughs> yeah in a natural way and so this giant is going to rotate the foot around the heel and this one is going to rotate it from the toes yeah and this one yeah it's <laughs> basically shows all most yeah so this is for the back of the foot from the toes so yes that's the first part and then if we go to our outliner over here we can see that we got the, the IK handle tools right now so we're just gonna name them this one is gonna be called leg L IK H the next one foot L01 IKH foot L02 IKH so that's basically it and then we're gonna name these you can see that they're not correctly placed I'm just gonna move them to fit a bit more nicely and that looks fine I'm gonna call this IV for verse foot joint um, 
probably should add a root. The next one I'm gonna call mid. I'm sorry if the naming convention is a bit inconsistent. You should really keep your naming convention uh, consistent throughout the whole uh, rigging. But I'm uh, I'm doing this with uh, a space between each tutorial on about a week, so I might forget the correct uh, naming. But it doesn't matter that much right now. So we got this, these joints, and uh, you want to um, click the joint, click the controller you made, and press P. So now, right now, the joints are gonna follow the controller. Yes, and then you want to select your leg IK and oops and uh, the root joint that you made. Uh, no, actually, you're gonna select first the root joint, and then in the outliner you can select the IK. Um, and you're gonna go to a parent you're gonna make a parent constraint so you're gonna go to constraint and then parent and then it should follow and you can see it does beautiful so the reason why we're making this uh, reverse foot is now you can see this is my original foot and if I take it down below the foot that we're going to skin is going to be on to the... it's not going to stretch so it's going to keep the proportions and that is what we want right now but we also want the foot to kind of point downwards when we're doing this that is why we made um, the addition um, IK handles and now we're going to constrain them also to our uh, reverse joint control controllers so we're going to select I always mess up this uh, this part so uh, bear with me um, oops so you can see if you select the IK handle over here that it shows where it is uh, we're first gonna select joint and then the IK handle and I think it's this one we want to uh, constrain to. So let's just try and see what happens. I'm gonna parent. And what happens now? Well, not really much. Um. No, you know what? Yes. If you go to the IK that we made before, and we're just gonna delete this constraint because um, and also on the other one we want this IK to follow this um, joint so we select the joint and then the IK go to parent and then it should follow yeah you can see it follows now coolio um, the next thing we want is to make sure that everything follows this joint so we're gonna select this IK handle in the middle of uh, the toe oops sorry we're gonna select the joint and then the IK handle and then we're going to constrain parent and it should work yes it does awesome and what if we rotate this it also kind of works. The reason why it doesn't work yet is because we didn't uh, parent this the last uh, IK handle. We're going to do that right now by selecting the joint, the IK handle, and parent it. So right now if I move this joint, you can see everything follows the way we like it. And also if we do this, it makes the bend in the toe. If we select the whole joint chain, we can uh, rotate it around the heel and also upwards so this is actually what we want that's perfect um, and you can also see if we select the controller 
and pull it down the foot will make a nice natural uh, pointing towards our controller so if the character has to jump or something like that it's very useful um, yeah and that wraps up this part of the tutorial the next part is gonna be how to uh, I'm just gonna send the pivot of this controller the next part is gonna be how to um, how to make custom attributes so you don't you will not see the joints in the final rig you will only see this controller and this controller is gonna have some uh, custom attributes that controls the foot and uh, we're gonna set that up we're also gonna set up the constraint for this um, controller 